Hola, bon dia, and welcome to the Sunny Sada project. Don't know what that's been worth. <laughs> Today we're getting water installed and Carlos is arriving tomorrow. I will no longer be on my own. He's only up for one day though, so that's sad. But yes. Today we're getting water installed. It's very exciting because once that happens, we can move in. Happy days, no more Fundal Hotel. Today we're getting water installed. I won't be filming too much today as I'm editing. Currently doing it all by myself, which is a lot. So um, won't be filming a lot today. The rest of the video, Carlos is coming back. We'll do some more cleaning. We should start to get furniture. Starting to make this place a home. The bathroom's gonna be cleaned out by Carlos. He doesn't know that yet, ha ha ha. Because we get water installed, it means we can scrub the place. So we're probably going to find many fun creatures, which I'm not looking forward to, but yeah. Um, I realise we haven't said much about how our water situation works here. I'm gonna go check on the guys now. So I'll explain while I walk down through the land so you can have a little glance as well. We have a pump being installed today. We have the one well at the bottom. So all our water is completely off grid. It is quite a distance. So we have to go down this path, down there and into the trees which are over there so it is quite far someone was here six months ago and they were having water um come up to the house then so it should be fine shouldn't be too big a job they should just need to literally put a pump in hook it up and go so yeah i'm gonna go check now it's like right in the center of the land as well so when we do have stuff at the bottom it shouldn't be too far to connect that. So I've come down that little pathway and then you go down along here and it's in that gap down there. So it's quite a distance from the house. Say so probably 100 metres or so, but not much more than that. So. I think the tank's filling up. <laughs> scared the life out of me. It's a good sign. I'm gonna go see what's going on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. You ready for this? Are ya? Are ya? Oh, come on. She's um, a little bit spluttery. <laughs> She hasn't been used for a while. Come on, babe. Don't let me down. She was flowing out really nicely. What's going on? Hang on. Because it hasn't been used in six months, it is just... Um, a bit splattery and gunky and stuff so I think that's what's happening there we need to run it quite a few times but earlier it was a nice big stream coming out um if not we'll have to get them back yeah we have water that was a really disappointing splatter isn't it they've done the bathroom as well there is a big bug in here get out of my house yeah I still haven't made it to the bathroom because I'm really scared of the bathroom but this one was working earlier that's a bit more like it. Yay! <laughs> Toilet works, shower works. We have water. It came out like brown at first. <laughs> what? And uh, we've been told the connection to this, not that we really think, I don't think we're gonna keep this anyway, but 
um, before we run it we have to drain that like unplug it drain it into a bucket then reconnect it so if you ever do the same thing now you know <sighs> water anyway should we go have a look at the um little pump house down at the bottom i think we should let's go do it sorry i spotted a spider just trying to make its web swear to god we evicted them and they just keep trying to come back right let's go to the pump house <laughs> Our bucket top of our well this is the little pump house um oh dear god how am i supposed to get down here uh, there you go she's a she's she's big she's a big pump oh, damn so they've done electrics they've done water been hard at it man i think this is the electricity cable that connects it all so oh if i walk down here water and yeah, tomorrow Carlos turns up so we can get him to get rid of the spiders in the bathroom. And so I can continue cleaning the house. Um, and the back room still need a bit of doing, so yeah. Move in by the end of this week. Yeah, do we think so? Let's find out. <laughs> So um, I was just down by the well, that you obviously saw. Um, there's that sort of opening near the well and I didn't realise you can come round this way and you can actually see that there's the bottom. Um, so I think you access it by going around the well, which is like, you can't see my hand, like down there. So I think you come out this way. Yeah, this is the bit of land that's never really been cleared or anything. It looks like there's even more trees and what not down here and a massive cork oak it's pretty incredible actually it's massive and then obviously there's a way into the woods over here lots of broom and lots of brambles on this land which will 100 percent need to go whoop there's massive proper like old oak trees as well like this one here yeah as i said like we still never reached all of the land. That's a really nice spot too. Oh, I'm going pink. <laughs> it is an absolute, like, another scorcher today. Considering it's, you know, October now. It's still over 30 degrees. This land, I've noticed, really does get warm as well. Oh, there's a massive... Sorry, I just spotted another bush of, like, fruit and stuff on it. I think that's just a huge madronio tree. Hang on. I don't know if you can see, there's loads of red. I just can't get to it yet. We need to work out the exact perimeters of our uh, land yet, actually, which is hilarious. But it is absolutely ginormous. Like, we're so far from the house. Amazing. I'll have to show Carlos tomorrow. How do I get back up here? <laughs> so it's that time of day at the moment where I need to catch the train, so... I will catch you tomorrow. Um, I didn't see little lady this morning as I got a lift with the guy who's installed the water. So I'm gonna see if I can find her because she's my new friend. That's the dog, by the way. I'm calling her little lady. She's cute. Oh, hola. Hello, lovely. Yes, hello. Oh, <laughs> it's 
Sows. <laughs> yes. Hello, lovely. You're a good girl. Alright. You're in the station. Where are you going? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> A big boy. Bon dia everyone. So we actually took yesterday off um, to buy fridges and stuff for the house. Um, but if you look, has somebody here? Oh! <laughs> I am back from the Algarve. I'm here with Charlotte and she's managed to get the electricity and the the water sorted. Sort of. Sort of. So I'm proud of her. <laughs> well the water we've turned up today and isn't working but mm. it's all part of the off-grid experience is what i'm saying exactly um so i have the instructions <laughs> manual in front of me and i'm going to read through it because if this happens again i'm going to be able i'm going to have to be able to sort it out yeah. so um yeah the pump was still there so no one nicked it <laughs> so that's good at least so um but the pressure is saying zero yeah there's we've, no pressure yeah we've tried switching the electricity on and off again and that's not worked so we're sending photos to the people who installed it and hopefully they'll be able to tell us more as to what went wrong um but yeah this is annoying because we wanted to like scrub the house today and it yeah. may set us back by a couple of hours so hey babes it's part of the experience isn't it <laughs> part of the off-grid oh uh, but the bed's supposed to be arriving today i'm supposed to be living in here as of tomorrow and um, so I am mildly worried, but <laughs> you'll be alright, babes. I'll You'll make sure to have a really good shower tonight. Exactly. <laughs> right, we'll see you if we can fix the water pump. So yeah, wish us luck. Wish us luck. <laughs> well, Carlos is sorting that out. I'm going to go unlock the top door because we're expecting our sofa to be hopefully delivered today, and we are getting internet installed. The electricity is working, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> As we said, we don't have the key for the electricity box, which is rather annoying because he literally told me about how I'm supposed to reset it and everything and then locked it and didn't leave a key. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll walk up to the green gate now so that I can let people in. <sighs> Not the day I wanted. Damn it. got the electricity box open i don't know how he must have found something to break into it um so that's now open he's checked that that's all on and correct like it should be so he's going to head back down to the well and i'm going to try and call him and test all the water and see what happens but we will see He's down there somewhere and uh, you can hear him giggling to himself. I think he's secretly loving this, like he's on a little adventure. <laughs> but he doesn't have to sleep it tomorrow night, so... So, we switch it on off again. Still no pressure. I think it's a pressure issue rather than an electricity issue, so... <sighs> Carlos has gone on the guy and hopefully they'll turn up at some point today so we can get this fixed because i don't want to have to stay in a hotel anymore and wasting so much money on eating out and stuff Hey guys, so <laughs> just on the phone with the technician. So, um, basically, there's a little blue piece in front of the well. We're going to go there now, and Charles, she's going to show you. You, uh, that is what gets the engine started for the 
pump. Now, because the well hasn't been used in a couple of months, it could be that some in, in, impurities have gotten in there and it's preventing it from working. He, I've turned everything off and on again, I've checked everything. And then he, he just told me to give it a couple of taps to see if it starts. And then if not, he's gonna get his mate to come around and to, to come and check it out. It could be that the well hasn't been used for a while. There was a basically. lot of crap that yeah, came out. Yeah, it, it, like it, it might have got stuck there, so. Right. Adventure to the water farm. <laughs> okay, good old slap. <laughs> you keep going. That's a, there's another like terrace there, I think. Yeah. That we need to clear. Well, we own all these woods here. On the yeah, if you go round that way, you can see the bottom level. If you go right round. This is fun though. I, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I, I was expecting this. Yeah, it's all been too easy so far. <laughs> right, so, um, as you can see, this is the water pump. This is the on signal, and this is to fire it. So you turn it to the left, you turn it on, and it should start. Okay, like this. But it's not starting, and the reason is because this bad boy isn't doing its job. So he told me to do it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, I think we just need to leave the taps on for quite a while. Yeah, because um, as you can see, it's just stopped again. I think we need to kind of flush through a little bit of the gunk that's from the, the well yeah. and see if it works because cause it did start. So maybe I can get it again on camera. Uh, let's see. So. Not this time, let's see. Off and on again. Yeah, just classic fiddle with the, the buttons. Give it a smack. Give it a smack in the back. <laughs> and it should work, but... Should I run up and switch it on and see what happens now? Probably, but this is, this is supposed to be on all the, time, all the time. All the time, basically, so... Right, we're gonna have to call the dude up, I think, so... If we get any developments, we will let you know. Right, gonna run up to the top. Now Carlos is giving it a smack and it sort of made a noise. Um, I'm gonna run up and try and see if leaving the tap on whilst he's smacking it as well might shimmy this out. So we're gonna get so fit going up and down this hill, man. Um, yeah, let's see if that works. It's a good sign. We know what the problem is. <laughs> I think we've done it. It lives! <laughs> Hello? Oh. Is it working? <laughs> I've got the tap working. Oh, no, it's stopping. It's stopping. It's still working, babe. The water's still running. Turn it off. So I've gone down. Oh, hang on, it's going down really low. It's probably a big rock or something. Okay. You know, we're coming up to rainy season, so if we do waste a little bit, it's not massive, but... Let, let's, let's wait like half an hour, see if we can get it to work, and if it keeps stopping, then we'll call him, I think. We don't need to come now. So it looks like there is some stuff stuck inside the pump, and... Uh, we may have cleared it, but we're going to wait and see. At least we know what the problem is and like, you know, I can always whack it a bit, so. <laughs> Wish us luck, guys. Okay, guys, so we figured out the problem. So the, there's, a, there's a, like a meter in the water pump because from zero to three, which the technician said that's fine. The issue is after a couple of minutes, it goes back down to zero. And, it, and when it goes past one or 0 0.5, it should turn itself on again, go back to three, you see. But unfortunately, there's something blocked in the actual pump. He's gonna call his mate to come around and check it out. But I think, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I managed to get it to work. We do have some water to, to, water to clean. I think if, Hopefully he'll un 
unblock it. Charlotte will be able to have a shower here whilst I'm not here. I mean, you're, you're going to be working in the fields anyway, babe. So you're I'm going to be, be a, a I'm going to be stinky. You're going to be a hot mess in it. <laughs> Maybe it's the bat that we didn't see that got blocked. Anyway, Maybe the water he's dead pump. and he's blocking our water. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, Yummy. Thanks, mate. <laughs> right, we are. That. Right, I'm going to start to clean the room. There's a mattress we're going to get rid of, and because supposedly the couch is arriving today. Yeah. So Charlotte can move in from Friday. Hey guys, so. Um, <laughs> I'm grumpy. Charlotte's grumpy. So let me give you a little bit of an update. The pump guy is coming here to fix the pump, which mm -hmm. is lovely. Um, it just needs to be unclogged, basically, it's a bit blocked. Um, we. We're checking out the delivery dates for things. It uh, turns out that the, the place that we ordered the sofa bed for Charlotte was due to arrive. We assumed, right? Because it says three to four days on the website. It says three to four days on the website. But that's just the company sending it to the courier. Then the courier has to get that package and send it to you. So I was able to speak with someone and turns out it's coming the end of next week. So <laughs> Charlotte is only staying in the hotel tonight, basically. So she's going to have to get a uh, like a... I think going to get a camping bed. A, yeah, a provisional camping bed and some sheets and some basic pillows for her t to stay here until the ikea stuff arrives which that arrives on the 12th right yes uh, yeah ikea arrives on the 12th the fridge and the cooker are coming from the same company they arrive on the 11th so poor charlotte's gonna be here we worked it out to get like a little camping bed mm. would it's probably like more like 40 50 euros yeah. and then like to get to stay at the hotel is going to work out like 185 if i went back down south with you for a bit yeah that's going to work out more expensive like two three hundred so yeah because the, the issue the the things in the algarve are a little bit more expensive and also she would have to come back on monday and to come mm -hmm. back on monday she would have to stay overnight in lisbon uh yeah. because coming all the way from the algarve up here it's like five hours it's a yeah. bit smaller it's a bit Six. of a nightmare so um <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, I've got my gloves on and I'm going to clean the room so Charlotte can hopefully sleep in the sofa bed. Or, sorry, in the inflatable mattress. <laughs> I hate inflatable mattresses. <laughs> You'll be all right, babe. Ah! <laughs> so we're clearing room out here. So all this driveway, partly because I want to get that bit cleared and stuff as well. Um, there was this metal um that was over some of that was over there but yeah we've got a load of stuff that we need to take out of the house so that we can clean properly we're putting some bits in what was the wood storage shed for now so we've taken the old mattress out the back bedroom and popped that in there because that was rank and now oh <laughs> and now yeah we're clearing this area and we're gonna put the chairs probably out here <laughs> for now um, until we can get someone to come pick them up and get rid of those. We need a man with a van. But also I want to clear this because it's covered in stuff like the area that I cleared the other day was. So if we get all this cleared, we can start thinking about, you know, maybe making it a bit nicer out here and stuff for us as well. So yeah, metal is going over there. And then sofa. We're going to move the chair, this like old table around, put it somewhere out here and just put the sofa out here for now. It is really rank and dusty and horrible. We can't really keep it, but you know, we don't have means, we don't have our van yet. So it makes sense to just pop it out here for now and we sit out on it as a joke in the meantime. So <laughs> I'll go help Carlos, he's struggling. Okay, and push. Get it. 
Can you okay? Can you the GoPro? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just push it from here. Okay. You use, save your back. What about this course? Yeah, it's in perfectly good condition, right? I mean, <laughs> Sofa bed, Charlotte. Who needs to buy an inflatable camping bed? Just <laughs> sleep here, innit? Just camp outdoors for tonight. And let the bud bed bugs eat you alive. Yeah. No, not bed bugs. Or the mosquitoes. Or everything. Yeah. And those what are those dust things that live in couches? There's like dust creatures that, that eat you if you don't clean them oh, up. Oh so. God, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Boom. I'm filming. <laughs> Ready for the oven's gonna go around here somewhere, but yeah, that's where it has to be wired in where the fridge was. So that's out the way. Carlos is sorting out the little seats. I'm gonna test out the new toaster, the new toasty machine. Yeah, here he comes. This is Charlotte, and this is our makeshift lunch for now <laughs> until we get the oven next week we'll be surviving off of toasties yeah so um, we've got a little bit of meat here and bread and cheese mm -hmm. and my bully cows are these mate these are my favorite nectarines they're ready to go and yeah you just we just bought this it comes with a little tube here um, oh my god i have some pickles i might put pickle in mine oh pickles mm-hmm Shotgun, please, Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, it comes with this little bit here because when you open it up, all the oils can go to there. So, and it's non-stick as well. So, which meat would you like? Yes, I'll have one of each, please. One yeah. of each? Are you serious? No, I'll have the presunto first, please. Okay. Yeah, and um, I'm taking just a little break from moving all the sofas and the fridge and everything out. Actually, let me do a quick tour. So we moved the fridge out, as I've said. This bad boy right here, we are gonna have to move it over to where the chairs are because we need a power socket to log in the, to, for the technician to install the cooker. So we're gonna put it here um, for the time being. So we're gonna move this over there. Um, in here, we're gonna get rid of these two because they're in really bad shape, unfortunately, and this boy, but that'll be like a four people job. Um, the couch that we've ordered, the sofa bed Charlotte was supposed to sleep, we're going to put it in this gap because it's 1 meter 80 and that wall is only 1 meter 50 where we had the old couches. So, plus it's, we were thinking of putting it in this corner but then if people want to go to the toilet they have to go via our room and we have to go around and it's a pain in the bum. So, yeah. And now I just got to blitz this room because it's it's empty, so it's got all this dust and this view, oh my god, this view. Can you imagine waking up every morning to this view, just saying hello to Spain, you know, smashing. So we put all the furniture outside as well, so let me just quickly show you. So we've got the two mini sofas here for now, I just sat on it, no creatures tried to attack me, which is always good. And then I'm going to put this boy over in that in that corner it's not quite it won't be protected from the rain but we just want to keep these and give them away or something if someone wants these and then there's this table it's not very stable um, the previous land that the owner tried to fill it with cement and this bit doesn't go oh it's a wasp okay that's good to know um bye <laughs> oh my yeah the um plates and cutlery were supposed to come with the sofa bed so we have to make shift with Tupperware, so <laughs> which is all right, I think. Yeah. All right, Charlotte's about to load in the first toasty. Yes, I am. Okay. Is it a warm boy? It is warm. Okay, that's good. Lovely. And she goes, lovely. Ooh. It's a good sizzle. Good sizzle, lemon drizzle. <laughs> no, it's cheese. Oh. Yeah, so um, we, just on a quick note guys, um, Careful of that stuff please. Um, Charlotte believes there might be a little bit of a wasp's nest in the, 
on that wall outside. I'll quickly show you because she's seen them coming out in this wall somewhere. She reckons that there's a mini wasp's nest somewhere in the crack. So we're going to have to do something about it. There is one old one here on the floor. Let me see if I can zoom into that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so there's de there's definitely been wasps around here. Oh, you can hear that sizzle now. That's a good, mm -hmm. it's a good toasty. Oh, nice. Hey guys, we've had our toasties. They were really good. They were okay. They were really good. I picked the wrong cheese. So yeah, um, we are just currently that my my finger cleaning the lens. Charlotte is sweeping the lounge, as you can see. I've already this like a billion times but it just keeps sweeping yeah um, i've done a decent job in the, in the toilet here there was like dead and dead like ants and things i think they must have come from the pipes i just need to give the bars a scrub and the walls and it that in there needs a bit of cleaning i think um, i think we'll get like a tablet or something you can buy stuff for that i think yeah cool so yeah and we're almost done for the day we've, we've done a lot um we just want to touch a little bit upon why we didn't go for the one in the Algarve. It ultimately came down to logistics. It was, even though we were going to get it for a good price, we still had to do the place up and it just wasn't legally and financially viable. I think the biggest us. thing is legally, it was just turning into a total nightmare. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because it was owned by different people. Yeah. And but, it's just... We don't, we don't want to get too much into detail, but it just yeah. wasn't viable in a legal status and financial status. But um, we got this place instead, so yeah, it's all good. This place is cheaper, bigger, and wonderful everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> so go in <laughs> English, Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> get rid of the creepy thing. Um, what is this? I don't know what it is, but it's full of spider's webs and I don't like it. And it looks like it should smell damp. Another dead spider, I love, love I bet that. that he's dead, I bet that's alive. Go on, give it a good old poke. Is it dead? No, that, that one's dead. It's dead. No, it's not! Oh my god, that's dead! <laughs> hey guys, so thanks for watching the Sunny Sadat project on our farm renovation. Charlotte is mopping the floor, she looks very tired. I'm about to catch my train back. I'm going to be staying at Lisbon and then Lisbon back to the Algarve for another week of work non-stop but you know it is the life that i've chosen so hmm. yeah. i'm gonna miss him but, um yeah i will be sort of temporarily moving in as of tomorrow we don't have the bed yet so it didn't turn up but um i will find a way i've mopped so i feel a bit more comfortable <laughs> and we got rid of all the spiders as well 100 percent spider free yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right leave a comment if you have any ideas or you have any opinions or want to ask any more questions um leave a like ring the notification bell and okay. subscribe and subscribe subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe subscribe guys we'll see you next time <laughs> bye <laughs>